This will be a shorter uh, collection of my, uh, video of my collection here. I thought I had more books than this, but I guess not. So today, today's episode number 15 is on uh, my collection of Spider Girl. You know, <clears throat> when Spider Man had his uh, memory, uh, not memory, but his uh, marriage undone by Mephisto and all that, it showed like a uh, a child in the future that they had given up that they didn't know about. And so this is the what if, you know, that child had lived, you know, so, you know, it all starts with, I don't have the single issue, but it is a uh, what if, you know, you know, what if, this is um, Mayday Parker, you know, the child that they didn't give up when they gave up their marriage, you know, so. I don't, I only have, like I said, I only have about five books in this collection here. Although my brother, you know, he has, he's a little into comic books like me, but he likes this Spider-Girl character and he actually has the full collection of her, which is cool. So, that's number one. I don't have the number one, but I have the what if of the Spider-Girl number one. Then I have Spider-Girl number three. And I gotta credit my brother. The reason why I have these next three books is because these were extras when he bought like a 74 lot Spider Girl collection on eBay. He had a couple of extras in there, so he gave me his. So Spider Girl number three. And they're uh, facing off against the Fantastic Five or whatever. So, pretty cool. Spider Girl number four. <clears throat> Spider Girl number six. And I like a lot of these villains she faced and the training, you know, like her dad being overprotective and all that. And just, all that, just not wanting to train her and being trained by her dad's best friend or something. And we could worked at a police station or something. I forget what it was, what the job was. But one of my favorite villains she faced off against was, I think, Eight Ball. You know, this. You like the number eight, you know, that black pool ball. So, this is technically not a um, a run in the in the collection. It's a you know kind of thing, but since it has the character in it, I'm just I'm just throwing it in there since I had so few books to actually begin with. So this is Spider Geddon. No, I think it's a Spider Geddon tie-in because it's a Spider Girls number one. You know, this is Mayday Parker. I can't, I do not, cannot tell you who the male person is. If you mean, if you know who this person is, please let me know in the comments down below. It helped me out. And then we got uh, Annie Parker from uh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. The uh, alternate universe legitimate daughter, if you say so, if you want to say it that way. So, either that or Mayday Parker here was the uh, child they lost. Yeah, never mind. I think it might have been, it was either the child they lost when she was um, had a mis MJ had a miscarriage, or she was the uh, daughter they gave up when they gave up their marriage. I I got my uh, background story confused. So if you know, set me straight. I'd be more than happy to listen. So those are the very few Spider Girl books I have. Like I said, not the, you know, my main, my main collection is Amazing Spider-Man, so, but I'm interested in a very, on the idea of Spider-Girl, so if I get more, if I get, if I ran across more books, you know, cheap or in a 50 cent bin or whatever, I'd, I'd pick them up. But don't run into very many of these Spider-Girl books around here where I live, so. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Stay safe out there, and as always, happy collecting. See you next time.